Fitch Ratings measures the country's vulnerability to repay its debt through its long-term foreign currency issuer default rating. In a statement, Fitch said it had downgraded Sri Lanka's rating from CC to C. Rating C means that the process of defaulting the country's debt has begun. The downgrade came after the central bank made a decision on April 12th to default on its debt repayments. Sri Lanka is only one notch above the rating on being declared as bankrupt. Finance Minister Ali Sabri says Sri Lanka plans to start talks with the International Monetary Fund next Monday. This would be to secure as much as 4 billion US dollars in aid and to support the Sri Lankan economy. We probably may need uh, 3 to 4 billion new cash injections from external sources for the rest of the year. Now that the uh, burden of debt repayment is out of our equation, probably to support the balance of payment crisis and also to uh, have those continuous supply of fuel in order to prevent further electricity cuts so that our industries are not affected. You are uh, you know, going through some discussions with the Chinese as well for 2.5 billion, if I'm not mistaken. If you could give us an update to on those discussions with Beijing. We have been discussing with them long for a long period of time. We are very confident that Chinese will look at very positively. China had had a long-standing relationship with us. I'm not going to give much of a detail on that. They are still in the negotiation stages. And India had been very, very helpful for us. Our neighbor, our friend, they have categorically stated that they will bail out us until we can stand on our own. So hopefully with Indian, Chinese, and uh, probably IMF, World Bank, ADB, we have had very good initial discussions with all of them uh, i am confident that we can uh, pull through of course uh, there can be a very difficult times going forward for the next uh, six to nine month or a year we all know without pain there is no gain so we understand that these uh, times are going to be very very difficult going forward Sri Lanka's High Commissioner to India Milinda Morogoda has held talks with India's Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman. During the meeting, the Finance Minister had said India would stand with Sri Lanka to help it achieve its challenges. Sri Lanka's Finance Minister Ali Sabri and his Indian counterpart Nirmala Sitharaman are to meet each other on the sidelines of talks with the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund in Washington. According to economists, Sri Lanka's economy did not fall, it was forced to fall. This was mainly due to arbitrary wrong decisions that weakened the country's economy. On one hand, there are serious allegations of corruption and malpractice. The consequences of these actions are that the country, territorial integrity and national security coming under serious threat. Sri Lanka's economic abyss has forced us to start seeking help from the nations around us. These funds, irrespective of who provides them, do not come free of charge. There are public and secret conditions that are inked for these funds. That's not all. Sri Lanka will have to repay these for generations to come. And that means your children, their children, and their children's children will have to keep on paying back the money. Therefore, it is paramount that the people be vigilant about those who forced Sri Lanka into this situation and the reasons that led to it as well.